Hi and welcome to Dowie Dowie Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're doing our predictions for Hell in a Cell 2015. Yeah. Which is the second time we've ever done predictions for Hell in a Cell. how exciting. Oh, look at that. Alright, so as you know, every time we do our predictions we set a forfeit for ourselves and this forfeit is in tribute of Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton is sadly not at Hell in a Cell, he's... Well, he may have uh, dislocated his shoulder or dislocated his shoulder. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. Mark um, Dorman. <laughs> you never know. Um, so, um, basically, in tribute of Randy Orton, our forfeit is we've got to sing a karaoke version of his theme song. So, <laughs> that should be interesting. So, at the end of our Hell in a Cell review, um, we'll have a nice tribute to Randy Orton at the end. Yeah. Singing his theme song. I quite like this forfeit. I feel like we're going to have to do this several times. Probably. Yeah. going to be a load of bloopers. Yeah. I hope it's not me. <laughs> it probably will be me because I always get the singing ones. But I would reason. like it to be me. <laughs> I would love it to be Coral. I, I really would. I'll get into it. So have a look. Yeah, you I'm would. Voice, <laughs> you still need to do your WrestleMania oh, yeah, video. Shit. <laughs> it popped to my head that earlier. We'll do that. We'll do that soon. Yeah, we'll we need to do it. Yeah. We'll sort that out. Now we've got a bit more capacity. <laughs> we have yeah. to do it. Damn. Got that. Think Go about on. it. We'll do it next time you're here. Yeah, remind me to bring my uh, gear. Yeah, Shall I wear Stardust gloves with it? Yeah, my hair. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we'll get on to the actual predictions now. <laughs> Wikipedia, as usual. Yeah, because we don't trust the Dodo yeah. website because last time it skipped out two matches. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we hope nothing gets announced on SmackDown. I don't think it will, but let's hope it doesn't. Fingers crossed. But we're going through order of Wikipedia. And we'll start off with a match that everyone's been waiting for, hence my sarcasm, please. Um, <laughs> Brock Lesnar vs Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match. Again! Yeah, but it's in a cell this time. Oh, I mean, it's in a cell. Rumor um, has it, this is Undertaker's last match. Yes. I doubt it. I think, it, I think it's going to be. And that is why I said Undertaker is going to win. I just feel like Undertaker should win. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I said it. I mean... I mean, yeah, if this is his last match, they're not going to... Make him look surely. But saying that, I watched a video of all the last Eva's matches. The majority of them lost mm. their last match. Which is quite sad. Did Shawn Michaels lose in his last one? Yeah, against did Ric Flair. Yeah. Like no, Ric Flair lost his last oh, one. Oh, did Ric Flair lose? Yeah, that was the first WrestleMania I saw. And I saw it with the last move. He did a sweet chin music. He went, I'm sorry. Sweet oh, yeah. I, I was just like, oh, my God, this is so emotional. <laughs> Um, we had some recording because we both thought Undertaker. Um, I got the Undertaker vote. Whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I'm now rooting for Brock Lesnar. The thing is, I'm quite nervous to watch this match. I really don't want to see it because I feel like Undertaker won't be able to do it. I feel like it's going to get stopped in the middle or something. What do you think? And it's going to be like a massive, like, we, sorry to interrupt, we have some problems. <laughs> some technical <laughs> issues. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't feel like I'm going to end up seeing the whole thing. Uh-huh. Or it'll be very, very short and it won't be worth watching. It's probably going to be, I reckon it's just going to be a couple of suplexes. Minutes, yeah. and... Choke sound, tombstone, yeah. gone. Maybe Sting making an appearance. Brock know. will probably bleed because he that's does. what he does now. So, uh, it's like a thing, all paper with you. He literally just touches his forehead and yeah. he's like, shit, I'm bleeding. I think he's blading backstage. <laughs> yeah, he's like, getting ready. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think he's just got a very thin forehead. Yeah. For all the years of blading. <laughs> oh, yeah. And probably steroids abuse. It yeah. changes skin. So. <laughs> Heard it here first. Um, <laughs> Then they have Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt in a hell in a cell Because we haven't seen that twice a week for the last year. I know. I hope this is it. This is it. We're done after <laughs> this. I mean, in an ideal world, I would like Bray, Bray Wyatt to win it. But one, he's got a weak character now. Mm. And two, they love Roman Reigns too much. So I think Roman Reigns... I mean, no one else loves Roman Reigns. Yeah. I feel like Dean Ambrose is going to play a part in that now, though. Somehow. I want to turn heel... But I don't know how it'd work in this match because... Oh, I just thought... Dean Ambrose ain't in his pay view. Yeah. Mystery guest. He could be a mystery guest. I don't want him to be. No, I don't want him to be. Anyway, that's later on. Yeah. Later on. Later on, later on we'll discuss. If Dean Ambrose gets involved somehow... There's rumours he's meant to turn heel, right? But if he did, that means he'd be end up really being a part of the Wyatt family, wouldn't he, really? Yeah. If he did that something against Roman Reigns, which I don't really want. I don't think that would work at no. all. <laughs> So, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe something happened, I don't know. But, yeah, my instinct's Roman Reigns this one. I think hopefully that'll just end everything because when Bray loses, he doesn't carry on. Yeah. 
I don't know, I'm I'm going for Bray Wyatt just because I don't see into it yet. I think TLC, I think there's going to be a main event there or something. Mm. I don't know. I think Bray's too good at TLC, so. Yeah. We'll see. And we had uh, Bray and Dean last year, so I feel like they're going to. Bray and Dean was a much better future than this one. Yeah, I, I think this actually potentially might be the first match of the night. Because they'll have a hell in a cell at the beginning and the one at the end, which we may be Undertaker. Maybe. It could potentially be a good way to start, but I feel like this match is going to go on for like 45 minutes. I feel like it's going to go or drag on for eight minutes. Yeah, it's going to be a very long match, a very slow match. Yeah. A lot of lying on the floor, I think. Yeah. It could surprise us, though, but we'll see. Is is there been like an announcement if they're going to have people on the side, or is it strictly them two? Well, even if they were on the outside, they can't get in the cage anyway. Nah, but so. there might be some a lot of brawling on the outside. I hope not. Yeah. I reckon they will be. Yeah. But I hope not. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, then Charlotte versus Nikki Bella for the Divas Championship. Um, we both said Charlotte for this one, but obviously had to pick him. So. Yeah. So, she got Nikki. Yeah, got Um, I just think it's too soon to give it to Charlotte and then take it away. Yeah. I mean, she's... She's been quite quiet as a Divas champ, I think. There's been a lot more issues going on between Paige and Natalia. Yeah. So I feel like it's not fair for her to lose it. I personally think Paige will get ringside and she'll call, she'll get um like calls a disqualification and that'll be the end. You think? I reckon that's where they're gonna go with it. Yeah, probably DQ actually. Yeah. I reckon Makes sense. Then Paige is like really like healed this like now. Yeah. And, like she's not part of them. The team anymore. No. The turn page a bit psycho. I don't really understand what they've done with her. Page is just bitchy. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Mm. She's bright. She wants what she can't have. Mm. Yeah. So I reckon that's going to be it. I can't imagine it being amazing, to be honest. There's going to be no. too much going on the outside. I yeah. Think. And there'll be a distraction, I reckon, most likely. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it's a good match. I've got a feeling everyone's going to get pissed off at the end, regardless. Yeah. If Nikki wins, I'll be very shocked, to be quite honest. I think mm. it'll definitely be a shocker. I don't yeah. see it happening, but if it no. did, I'd be like, whoa, wow, yeah. really? Okay. Um, then Seth Rollins versus Kane for the WWE heavyweight title, and if Kane loses, he will no longer be director of operations. I'm a bit upset that Brock Lesnar and Undertaker are on this pay per view the same night this match is happening, because I think I'm... if Seth and Kane had a main event spot, that would really steal the show. Yeah. But is he cor- is he going to be corporate Kane no, or Kane Demon Kane? Demon Kane. Demon Kane. Right. It's all we good then. <laughs> so I really he's good when w- he's got the one. I really wish this was actually the main event and everyone was like, because that's the one on match I'm actually the most looking forward to seeing. You know what? I, I, I think I'm most excited for the John Cena versus Chris Christian who? Just because of who I want it to be. It's not going to be him though. No, it's not. <laughs> but I'm ready to be disappointed. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but... I, I learnt my lesson from the Wyatt and Dean and Ambrose mystery guests. I learnt my lesson. It's fine. What? Because it was Christian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Disappointment, yeah. Oh, but, yeah, second pay-per-view with a mystery guest. Yeah. Oh, gross. But, sorry. like, like with Kane, I feel like he's found love for wrestling again. Yeah, I mean, He's found love for agreed. what he's doing, so it's quite nice. He's put his passion back. Again. Yeah, so I feel like he's going to be a match, especially against Seth, and it, it is a viable storyline that has been set up very well and yeah. carried on quite well. So it's a shame it's around the, the I was going to say the Ascension then, around the authority. Um, but I'm hoping this is the start of the end of the authority. Yeah, me too. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm just really upset that it's not going to be main event. It'll probably be like mid-card. Yeah. <laughs> Which they don't deserve that. They could, mm. it could be a surprise. Maybe yeah. they'll do Brock Lance take a first. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Um, I said Seth Rollins just because... I think he's going to show us what a true champion he is. <laughs> I really want him to change his character. I hate it. But there's rumours he's going to turn his face this night. And I don't know how that would actually happen. I'm not too mm. sure how that would work. I hope it's just a rumour because I feel like they'd ruin it if Seth was face. Yeah. Kane he does, kill. It doesn't, doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, I've gone for Kane. I, I, I want the switch up now. You I, I, I think Seth's been champ for long enough and he, they haven't played it right. And I feel like he needs to have a second go at being champ to be a good champion. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like this this will be Kane's last ever yeah. champ. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like Kane needs to have it and then Seth can have it in a few years' time. The only reason I think 
Seth is going to win as well is because of the stipulation. I reckon they weren't Kane to be got like get rid of the director of operations thing completely and just be Demon Kane. Demon That's why I think Seth will win as well, just because of that. Okay. End the authority stuff. That'll definitely end the authority stuff. Yeah. So we need to get the authority stuff going. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to approach Seth being there, but it's kind of like annoying. Yeah. Having place. Seth with them, I feel like Seth needs to get away from yeah. them to be better. Yeah. But I don't know how that would work. Yeah, I feel but like. That's the only way Triple H can make sure his presence is shown. Yeah, by being, being with Seth. Yeah, and being the authority and things like that. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be nice if it just came out even now. Hi, guys. Welcome to Raw. I'm General Manager. There you go. Here's this what's is happening. the match tonight. Yeah. Have fun. Like, Kane does that really well. Yeah, when, when I he's like director Kane. of operations. Yeah. He's, he has a presence, but he doesn't actually do anything. Like, that's all you need. Yeah. I think Triple H just likes the show too much. Yeah. Like, I need to be here. I need to be the main story. Yeah. It's like, because look at, look at NXT. I was going to say TNA then. <laughs> no, look at NXT. Will, Will, William Regal. Doesn't do much. No. But he's got quite a bit of presence on there. If you weren't there, you'd miss him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he can go a few weeks without being there. And then when he comes back, you're like, oh, William Regal's back. Yeah. Same kind of same with him and Kang. So I feel like Triple H just needs to take a step back. Yeah, he needs to let go. Yeah. His days are over, guys. Yeah. Just give it a rest. Let it go. <laughs> let, let it go. go. Next, New Day versus Dudley Boys for the Tag Team Championships. Um, to be honest, my instinct was New, um, my instinct was Dudley Boys, but I was gonna like, I'm, I can't do it to myself, so I'm gonna yeah. go with New Day because I like New Day. They seem to be pushing New Day, and they've only just got the championships back, so I feel like it'd be a bit shit if they yeah. lost it again. But they seem, I reckon, I have a horrible feeling Dudley Boys gonna win. But I'm going to stick with New Day. Yeah, because we flipped a coin for this one. Yeah. And I ended up with Dudley Boys. Yeah. I think I've probably got the better end. Yeah. But I think they'd be very wrong to let the New Day lose. Yeah. Um, Especially as they've been pushed... Like, they've yeah. everything lately. They're main event in, like, the last three out of five shows we've had. To be fair, they're the strongest champions out of everyone so far. Oh, they are. Fair. Yeah. They, they really are. And yeah. it's just... It's kind of like, why give it to Dudley Boys, who... Don't have that much presence in the first place when they really should have. New Day have way much more yeah. presence than Dudley Boys. It's really weird. It is odd, isn't it? You never think you'd, you'd think that. But the Dudley Boys seem a bit reserved and a bit old fashioned now. Yeah. They seem a bit boring. <laughs> I mean, they haven't changed their gimmicks, they're just sticking with the same thing. You need you need the change. Yeah. I mean, it's great and everything that they're like still like quite, you know, yeah. get the table, but they need to add something else. I feel like they don't mesh well with anyone. Yeah. I feel like they don't mesh well with each other anymore. I don't know. Hmm. They're not... I don't know if you just tag teams were evolved now, so you expect it more. They're just very old-fashioned. Yeah. They're a bit Team Dad, aren't they? Team Dad, yeah. yeah. They are a bit Team, team Dad. Team Dad, too. <laughs> um, yeah, so then we have Kevin Owens versus Ryback for the Intercontinental Championship match. It's the least uh, excited I'm for a match so I won't which is a shame it's, it's a big yeah. shame I'm not excited for his match what, like Ryback has been ma- not having matches with Seth for like two weeks yeah there's been no build up for this match no. whatsoever it's just is it a rematch clause I think it might be it's just bollocks it's just trying to put a match they could have done together. it on they could have done it on a roll but it, I, it'd be a very big shame but because I've gone for Ryback on this very big shame for Kevin Owens because he's done fuck all with it mm-hmm. um but they think they push Ryback so much, I'm just like, Ryback's got it. Ryback's know, got it. I don't know why they push him. I've got with Kevin Owens, I'm going to stick with my guns. Every time we do this, I'm gonna, I feel it in my bones, I'm going to stick with that. We end up losing. So I'm going to yeah. end up singing. I'm going to end up singing. I'm just, I'm going to admit that now. I've got a better start, like, walking up. <laughs> um, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have to do a high school musical walk <laughs> <laughs> Um, Yeah, I've just got with Kevin Owens because I have really hope he doesn't lose it already because that would be embarrassing. Yeah. Really. Maybe a bit like Charlotte losing it. Yeah. It's There's quite a lot of new NXT people. I know. Maybe like, maybe that's quite nice. That is quite good, isn't it? So then, <laughs> John Cena versus someone. <laughs> we don't know who that someone is. What it's, was the original match? Or is that always the match? It's, it's just an open challenge match. <laughs> In other words, we don't know where we're going with this Yeah, <laughs> John Cena hasn't got a storyline, so we're just going to pick a name out of the hat on the day. Because John Cena has to be there, you know? Yeah, he has to be. The Dean um, Ambrose, though. I, oh. See... I thought the mystery man might actually win, whoever it might be, just because John Cena's taking time off for a couple of months, so they want to get rid of the title for him. Hmm. Um, they should have just kept it with Seth. They shouldn't have bothered fucking around, mixing hmm. it around. Um, but we had to flip a coin, so I've got John Cena now, so I'm probably going to lose this one. But in terms of who I think is going to be the mystery man, I've got two, 
three people who I think it could be. So one would be Tyler Breeze just because he's now he's debuted. Be right so I was just thinking that just now. I totally missed that. So yeah, they want to give him like, you know, uh, what's it? Purpose. Purpose. Yeah. yeah. That'd be quite a nice way to come in. Yeah. To win a championship straight away. Because I, I do, I do worry that um, Tyler Breeze is going to be very pre-show player. Yeah, pre-show, very Adam Rose, very Tyler yeah. Rose. Yeah, we don't want that. It could be Dean Ambrose. He's not doing anything. Um, why not? Give us a difference to do. Yeah. Well, it'd, it'd make sense. Dean Ambrose would be the easiest booking ever. Yeah. Or Dolph. Yeah. Oh, Dolph's not here, is he? Dolph's not here. He's in the pre-show, but he could easily like be, start the match at the beginning mm. and come back later. Who's in the pre-show? It's Rusev, Dolph. Rusev, Dolph, Cesaro. No, Rusev, Neville. Uh Rusev, Seamus, King Barrett versus Neville, Dolph and Cesaro. It's such a random match. <laughs> but um it's basically a rematch from Raw. Yeah. It, that's what they say. It's a rematch from Raw, yay! <laughs> Who the fuck gives a shit? Um, no one likes these six man no. people. Um <laughs> What was I saying? Or it could be Dolph. There was rumours he was meant to turn heel anyway. It would probably fit in perfectly if he won by cheating. I guess. But wouldn't it also make sense? Tyler Breeze wins that, and then Dolph comes Dolph. out. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, I'm hoping it's between Dolph and Tyler Breeze. I think for Dean Ambrose to do it would be so random because he's meant to be involved yeah. in this Bray thing. It just wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. But then they don't really care about making sense these days, no. so it probably will be Dean. Yeah, it's not probably Dean. <laughs> but then I've got Maya. Oh yeah, true. I yeah. One that I really, really want, which is Finn Balor, because I'm in love with him. Um, there, there are rumours of him going up yeah. and being called up. Like Seamus still hasn't actually called him up. They said that he did. He is on a like, to, is to promote the house show. Yeah. So it's just a bit. Like, so like a broken in the face. Yeah. Finn Balor. <laughs> Don't know why, but he's gone. Uh, yeah. Apparently, also broken him in the face, but. Um. If he's been brought up on house shows, it would make sense. But Tyler Breeze weirdly makes more sense. <laughs> Why would he debut on SmackDown otherwise? You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I would love him. The only reason I'm saying he wouldn't because he's an NXT champion and Kevin Owens already did that as an NXT champion. It'd yeah, just be the same thing. Repetitive. And it wouldn't work the same because Finn's actually face. It's yeah. more of a heel thing to do than to go, Joe, you know I want two titles. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I can't see it happening. I don't feel like Finn Balor's ready. I think he's ready. I don't think he's ready. He sticks out more than everyone else there, though. He does, but I feel like he's still got a confidence issue. I feel like he needs to carry on building it up. Maybe. I don't I think he's like, got, He hasn't got long there, though. He hasn't got long. He's still got about a month or two. But do you know what? I don't think Nia Jax has got long there. Oh, really? Yeah. They're piped her up a lot. Oh, she she was good. She was good. She was, um, she just came out and she just kind of had this like little, like that, but it didn't look like fake. Yeah, it looked like It was her. just like, she's like, yeah, I'm not a Jax, fuck you all. <laughs> and she was just good. Her outfit was horrible. Her oh, was God, that outfit. Did you see it? The blue no. one. Oh, oh, no. But <laughs> she owned it. And she had, some, she had some really she good heel, moves as well. she face? I think she's heel. Yeah, the girl she went, it. The girl she went against, she had this like lilac little thing. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm really cute. Yeah. yeah. And Nia Jax was just like, bitch, what the fuck is this? Yeah. She reminds me of a more confident Tamina. Oh, right, yeah. The one, one that actually speaks. Yeah. 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 But we haven't heard her properly speak yet. But Who? Nia Jax. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. But no. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Nia Jax. But that's a different thing. Yeah, that's a very <laughs> different thing. Like, Nia, Nia, Nia Jax is going to be yes. the mystery person. <laughs> John Cena her life to be fair <laughs> she did this really weird shake thing she just kind of shook her oh my God. Just, <laughs> yeah it was just oh it was so good but yeah to be fair it could like be Seamus yeah would make sense kind of sort of it could be fucking anyone it might be Sammy Day making this they're return they're probably going to pick a name out of the hat at the end of the night at the beginning of the night yeah Tombola yeah <laughs> who's it going to be whose number is it <laughs> Dan Punk's back oh, oh Jeff Hardy returning <laughs> there are rumours would Jeff Hardy. I don't think it makes sense. It wouldn't make sense, but Jeff Hardy. <laughs> uh, is he Slater, guys? Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, he's Slater. Slater. Give him a Big shot. Big E. 
That's what I was thinking. They They could. Because then they don't have three truck like. Yeah, all have championships. It would, I was thinking that as well, to be fair, because the they're pushing Udo nice. so hard. And I think he's ready. Biggie is so yeah. ready for a, yeah. a main championship. Like, I was watching him on Raw. He's so fucking hilarious on his own. <laughs> like, he was like, did you see in the tag match against the Dudleys and John Cena? He was like, doing boo yeah. at the Dudley <laughs> boys. Like, he was just hilarious. I love mm. him so much. <laughs> I want to marry Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, though? I feel like he's going to turn into Mark Henry one day. Yeah, he will. Like, in Mark about Henry. ten years' time, yeah. he's going to be Mark Henry. We'll just be like, oh, oh God, God, don't booty shake, please. <laughs> hit, hit, hit him and Kofi will be like, dad team. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Xavier Woods will be gone. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be he, somewhere. He'll, he'll be pre showing still. Yeah, yeah. pre showing. Yeah, I feel like all that. I feel like uh, Tyler Breeze coming up. Like, I feel like this is back to the ECW days. Mm. But I feel like he belongs like John Morrison and the Miz. Yeah, he does feel like, like that. All that. I Maybe that's like, why he doesn't feel strange that he's there. Yeah. I think that might be it. He's a bit out of time though. I don't know if it's going to feel like that because we haven't obviously yeah. seen it yet. I might just YouTube his debut. Yeah. I might try and find it. So, I really want to see it. I'm looking forward to SmackDown now. Yeah. Who's he going against? It's, it's he just stole, stole. Yeah, going over Summer Rae. Yeah. Some Ray don't even get me started, but Sorry. the rest, yeah. Well, I thought she looked quite nice in her ref outfit. She looked quite it nice did, in her ref outfit. It did suit her. Yeah. I feel like she needs to be a ref all the time. But why does she get pushed? Oh, she ruins oh, everything. She's like Eva Marie. She just, yeah, she is. Oh my god, NXT, right? <laughs> Eva Marie, sorry. Uh, Eva Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I've been working really hard on all my matches and winning them all lately, so I'm taking some time off in Paris. Love ya. What comes? Yeah, so everyone else here is like resting. And she's like, like bye. bye. Hey, yeah, Bailey's just done a fucking half hour Iron Man match, and even I've done really hard work on my matches that have lasted like two seconds. And I injured Carmella. That's how great I am. And I'm in Paris. Love ya. She was actually filming in Paris as well. Like you can play it and you see it, and I was just like, "Why are they doing this? Why? Why is that clip even here? I don't, I don't no, no. Is Eve Marie having sex with Triple H? I feel like she might be. Probably. I feel like she might be. She might be. So anyway, Steph breaking it to you. Yeah. When we're talking about Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Anyway, this is Hell in a Cell. Yeah, we've done our predictions. We've done. <laughs> just had a bit of a discussion. Yeah. We haven't in a while. Yeah. So much has happened in the last week. All right. Um, Let us know what you think. Comment. Yeah. Down there. What are your predictions? Yeah. Someone's already messaged us on Twitter telling us theirs. No. But I was like, we're going to film this today, so you have to wait. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, Alright, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Retweet your tumble. Follow us, sub us, comment like us. us. Yeah, like love us. us. Share us, retweet us. Let us know your predictions. Instagram us. Instagram, that'd be nice. Instagram yeah. us. Instagram us. Um, and, uh, yeah, screenshot this. <laughs> and Instagram it. Tag it with hashtag WWE Girl Talk. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Bit of it. <laughs> and hopefully you'll see our tribute to Randy Orton. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's hard on me. Um, <laughs> Goodbye.